Hi, welcome to Laura's View in Tarot 2. I am so glad you're here. You'll notice my background's a little different. I moved my setup because I've had some problems with Zoom. And if that problem was the fact that I switch cameras and do some equipment moving mid-video, I tried to eliminate that. So ignore the changed background or ignore it as the case may be. And I'm really glad you're here because we need to take a look at the resignation today of Liz Truss. Liz Truss is the, or was, the Prime Minister in England. She is going to be known, most notably, for being the Prime Minister with the shortest tenure in England's history. Now, you may recall, I did a reading on her on September 10th. In that reading, I got that she was quite possibly controlled opposition, which was good. It meant that she wasn't openly uh, a puppet of the deep state, that she was a placeholder until world changes uh, probably came about, and that she wouldn't have a very exciting legacy. Um, and that all seems to be kind of coming true. Uh, if you look at any major media outlet and check on the story for her, I'm just going to share one. Uh, uh, the mainstream is spinning this, is that this is a huge blow for the Conservative Party in England. And I thought that was interesting because they've been saying also in the United States when um, there was the Danchenko trial ended in an acquittal. They said, oh, that'll make conservatives leave the conservative party. They're all discouraged. They're all leaving. Don't let yourself be programmed. If you're truly getting um, discouraged, truly, and think that your political beliefs have been an error, rethink them and make your own decision. Don't let yourself be programmed to doing so. Now, I said and still believe that mistrust was simply a placeholder. I think a lot of our government and elected officials are right now until change is openly rolled out worldwide. So I don't want to frame my question to ask about the successor. I believe whoever that is, even if it's Mr. Johnson back in the role, or the avatar known as Mr. Johnson, that um, they're placeholders. They are. But let's see what the universe wants us to know about the resignation of Liz Truss and UK politics in general. Because I also think, and this is the Laura's view part of what I put out there, is that any country, this includes mine, so we're no exception, that is not using, openly using asset-backed currency has absolutely no chance of curbing inflation or dealing with energy price rises or things like that. So some countries have, the BRICS countries have, openly switched and more will happen. And as that does, then we may see some really um, lasting and effective changes. But in the meantime, the universe is very aware that we're struggling. We're struggling to find information. We're struggling to uh, notice change that's being camouflaged so well. We're struggling not to let ourselves uh, be brainwashed and programmed and to think clearly and critically for ourselves. And I do believe the universe has a lot of compassion for that. So let's see what the universe wants us to know about this resignation and politics in England in general. One moment, we'll find out. Okay, universe, what do you want us to know about this resignation and England politics in general? Our first so card is the King of Wands. King of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, that's reassuring. We have the Four Cups, Judgment, and Page of Cups. Okay. 
Okay, well, this uh, change in the political um, outlook for England, we have the King of Wands about the resignation and England's uh, political landscape in general. And he has a card that, that shows that there's leadership going on and wisdom. So the changes that have been made, um, whether it's dealing with the resignation of mistrust or isn't that funny, mistrust, if you say it fast, they do kind of tend to, uh, names are very enlightening in our world, aren't they? Okay, is we're being told some reassuring news. The King of Swords is here that this is, the White Hats are on this. Any changes that are made, whether they're just simply for the temporary placeholders I referenced, or other changes in our world are well thought out and uh, um, reassuring. In the recent past, we have the Six of Pentacles, which is a card of some calculated generosity or measured, I guess I should say measured. And so it looks like the financial changes I've referenced from fiat systems to asset backed in the background, um, they are a done deal. And things are looking really good for England. Um, a lot of countries like Haiti, we start having the good cards showing up here, but this one's already showing up here. We have the four cups here, um, down here for the near future. This was originally my uh, Liz Trust card, you know, where it talked about, uh, so she may still have a face in the political landscape. She may retire and uh, um, I don't know what they do with uh, old avatars when they're done with them. But uh, there is going to be judgment faced for those who have had bad motives and bad um, actions that have negatively impacted humanity, human life, um, and people specifically in England who are struggling with such rampant uh, energy prices and uh, the influx of NATO in London and uh, NATO uh, soldiers and just all that they're dealing with, with energy, with inflation, with mandates and uh, healthcare. They've had so many challenges, so many. So it's nice that it looks like in the future, there's going to be some accountability for that, that things are looking better and uh, very near future on that. Okay, we have the five of swords here. Five of swords shows up now. Swords are uh, indicate words and written and spoken. And this card is also one that shows a very um, well thought out uh, end of a campaign. So it's one that shows when they're a uh, consideration for collateral damage. You can see this guy is victorious, but he's letting his opponents walk away. All right, he's got his eye on them. They're not getting away with anything, but he is letting them retreat and you know do so without excessive injury. Nine of Swords, I love when this card shows up because this means that while you may be worrying about certain things, and remember swords are words, written and spoken, there's a lot less to worry about than you think. Temperance card shows up and showing up right here with this uh, well thought out victory. Temperance card, again, kind of reinforces the fact that the events that are happening have been very well planned, they had to be. Evil had thousands of years to hone their skills and have their game plan. And so this was, uh, I truly believe what we hear in the 17 uh, posts that this was, this was our final chance to get it right. And while collateral damage, which is people suffering or even loss of life is regrettable, it is still preferable to allowing um, humanity to be enslaved to not be free, to not be sovereign, for children to not be treasured, to be treated as a resource, a plaything, whatever. Queen of Wands is also showing up here. Queen of Wands is one of accomplishment and optimism. So we have some optimism cards going on here. And remember, Page of Cups here, was, which was also aspecting the Four of Cups, is usually one of a, a pleasant surprise. So in the near future, a pleasant surprise that may involve some judgment. There's less to worry about than you might think. So don't let the mainstream media make you fearful because there's been a resignation. They'll get another placeholder in there, okay? And uh, 
just be aware the changes are coming and they're coming as fast as possible. But there's a lot in the background we don't know. Even those of us, the most awake of us are going to be surprised at some of the details. And I do hope we get full disclosure and learn those. I think the days of someone deciding how much people can handle is gone. I think we need to let people make that decision for themselves, just like they do now. There's people that don't tune into the news. This will happen once some changes go on too. But in the meantime, let's hope that adults get treated like adults, that we have access to information and news and can finally find the truth of our history, our story. And it's in understanding that that we'll make very good decisions moving forward. So um, I do miss uh, trust. <laughs> and uh, you weren't the placeholder they needed. They'll get another one. And um, the near future is looking better and brighter. Hang in there. In the meantime, I don't want to minimize the struggle people are having to feed their families and keep warm. So do what you can for yourself, for your friends, for your neighbors. Keep your efforts local so that 100% of what you choose to do for someone actually gets to that someone. And we can, if we all make those circles of influence around us, they'll overlap and eventually cover everybody. And let's hope and pray that the changes we know are happening in the background become manifest in our world very, very, very quickly. I would not mind having events happen so fast that I have to put out read after read after read. I did two today. I wouldn't mind having a day where I did six. Let's make it happen. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Keep your vibration high and in love and light, go forward and reject fear because it is a useless emotion to everything but evil that thrives on it. So just reject it. Until next time, good night. Thank you for everything.